This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. In this video we're gonna be checking out Granbull. Granbull is a deck that got released thanks to Lost Thunder but it's now back in the format thanks to cards like Quick Ball and the new Oranguru. We of course can uh, deal 160 damage for a single fairy energy with all out if we have zero cards in the hand. We're gonna make sure we have that uh, because we can use Smooth Over from a cargo to put a card on top of the deck and then use Oranguru to draw out that card by swapping uh, uh, that card with one of the cards in our hand. We have lots of cards which we can instantly play, things like Energy Spinner, Finding Us Energies, that's also the reason why we're only playing five uh, fairy energies. We have Evolution and Sense, you can just play those cards instantly without having to uh, do anything about it. So Great Ball, all of those cards, Acro Bike, you can play those down instantly. We also have Absolute in here to slow down the opponent as well as Wondrous Labyrinth, that means that every non-fairy Pokemon needs one card of energy more to attack. This is very crucial in things uh, like Malamar, that's gonna be a huge thing. Wait until they get the Viridian out, then smack down Wondrous Labyrinth and suddenly Garatina needs four energies. Insane, right? Not only that, All Out can one-shot things like the Dane easily. Also things like ADP that are weak against Fairy, Granbull can those, eat those alive uh, very su yeah, sufficiently by uh, only needing one Fairy energy and a zero card hand. Ordinary Rod is in here to uh, re-get some of your puzzle pieces because uh, sometimes when you have to discard some things uh, thanks to Quick Ball and the Acrobikes. There's only two Acrobikes in here but because our main uh, supporter will be Apricorn Maker, Apricorn Maker can get two Ball cards from the deck and with of course the reprint of Great Ball and uh, the addition of Qu uh, Quick Ball, this deck can function once more. Why do we need Lucky Egg? Well, if a Grand Ball gets knocked out you want to have uh, a little bit of a backup. He wants a lot of cards so you can bench some Snubbles down and all that good stuff. That is what you want. Also, a Giant Bomb will get, of course, the one hit KOs, uh, if they jump into us, we can then uh, respond with all out and uh, typically we will get a one hit KO because we also have Shrine of Punishment in this list for damage buff. Uh, other than that, Dianta is a way we can uh, get back our, some of our puzzle pieces, uh, for instance the custom catchers, they will be really nice to draw some cards but suddenly, uh, out of nowhere, we can use Dianta to get back two custom catchers and out of nowhere we can take the game like that. This is the another budget deck, we don't need any expensive Jirachi, we don't need any expensive Dedenne GX, this is a list for the people that out there that uh, cannot afford those expensive cards and it's actually a very viable deck because if you're up against ADP, you'll love that instantly just because you hit for weakness. So uh, we are probably up against, uh, if I had to guess, Baby Blounce? We'll have to see how it goes. So we uh, say Tails never fails and uh, we are gonna go first. The reasoning for that is, of course, that we are a setup deck. We need evolution, so that's why we're here. The good news is we already have a Schnabel in the active position and the Slugma, so hopefully we'll be able to get uh, so a lot of our cards with that. We have Great Ball, this is actually not a, a bad hand to start off with. So we have a couple of Great Balls, uh, we can immediately use Energy Spinner to get that first energy. Uh, I wonder if we should attach it or not, because if they can get a first turn Welder, we are going to be in a terrible position. Uh, yeah. Either way, we have another Schnabel. First of all, you just get your basics out, because you need a couple of them to start your day. So uh, ditto as well. These Great, bar great Balls are working out. Uh, what else? Can we sacrifice a ditto? Maybe. I'm actually gonna give one schnabel uh, over here. We're gonna get the air balloon over there. Gonna smack down the shrine. I know, I know. We're gonna waste the custom catcher, but hear me out. We need some draw power to find, of course, some resources. In this scenario, our schnabel is immediately able to attack. We have evolution incense, and I think the only thing we'll mi we're missing right now is our good friend, uh, the one and only Oranguru. We can also go for Absol to slow the opponent down. But uh, since most of the decks do run a bazillion amount of switches, I think this is the better scenario. And uh, also, he could have custom catchers. Mm, do we risk it? Yeah, I'm gonna go for Evolution Incense and immediately grab myself a McCargo. We do have a Ditto, we do have a Slugma, that means we immediately will be able to get uh, some stuff going. Also, now that I think about it, we can use Private Wisdom. We can draw that after the opponent. They will need to play a Reset Stamp or Marty, but this is good. Look at this. We even have two Schlagmas to work out with, so uh, either way, 
We're gonna top deck from a cargo. I'm actually gonna keep this card in the hand because we will we'll need it to smooth over a card. We're gonna top deck from a cargo, and this is the card we'll need to uh, use the uh, Primate Wisdom on. So for now, I think it's fine. He could, of course, get himself an Absolute in play, which will make Air Balloon very difficult for this little schnapp. Uh, so maybe we should have promoted this schnapple, but I'm worried that this could also be a Firebox deck. We still don't know what we're up against, so this is a good scenario. I wonder will, if he will use things. Okay, skateboard immediately. Maybe we should have gotten out our Absol. It all depends. Also, if you love budget decks, be sure to demolish the like button that always supports the channel, as you guys know. Okay, Fiery Flint. So this guy is thinning out the deck. He already found his escape board. Will he have a welder on the opening turn? Or will he simply use Skateboard to retreat to another Jirachi for another Stellar Wish? This is Baby Blast Cephalon, probably gonna be the list that Stefan Ivanov used uh, to get very far into uh, the Malmo Regionals. So that's already a deck we had talked about before on the channel. Okay, Fiery Flint, lots of items in there. I love to see another Fire Crystal because he's gonna have to burn through a lot of energies here because Gr Gramble does have 130 HP. In the past, we even had cards like Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Okay, Cramorant, is he gonna snipe something off? Oh yeah, he's just gonna use the attack Beak Catch to get two cards immediately from the deck into his hand. Okay, that is very troublesome. The reasoning uh, that I think that Cramorant is good is that we uh, have to go after it with great, great Catcher, actually with Custom Catchers. It's a V Pokemon, so uh, cards like Great Catcher don't work on it, and he can simply, uh, yeah, retreat it if even if it gets damaged. Shrine also doesn't affect this card, which is a sad thing about this. Okay, we have of course our Macargo, which we already knew we were going to top deck. The reasoning, uh, we're also going to go for the uh, Smooth Over. That means we can decide which card we have on the top of the deck. I'm actually gonna go for the hmm, Evolution Incense, so we can tin out the deck. That seems to be like a reasonable option. That means we can get Gramble, tin out the deck as well. I think it's fine. Or do we just get a physical Gramble out? So we can get another Gramble later when we top deck something else. Uh, this is a difficult scenario to be in because I want to get some pressure up in this uh, field. I think I'm gonna go for Evolution Incense, although getting a Custom Catcher will probably be better. If we smack this, we have to go after it again, which is the nasty part. Mm-hmm. We do have a Slugma in hand. We could Custom Catch to draw a bunch of cards. Or we can smack down Wanderer's Labyrinth. I wonder what uh, stadium cards this opponent will be playing. Either way, I think I will take the chance and smack damage on uh, this Cramorant. So we're gonna use the uh, Primate Wisdom. Swap. There we go. We have the Evolution Incense. And yeah, we can get either another Macargo, but I think Gramble will be probably better to smack immediately some damage onto that Cramorant V, which can then, of course, mean. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done that. 30 damage, uh, 30 damage, 160, still not gonna make it. So yeah, Gramble is going to have to do it at this point, all out. Also want to get some Lucky Egg rolling soon. So maybe we're gonna sacrifice this Ditto and use Lucky Egg on it. Price raise wise, it's probably also going to rely on things like Oracorio. Welder, okay, he's going to go with the Cremorant. Okay, interesting. He can snipe our of our uh, Macargo, which is a very terrifying thing to see. Either way, he can also uh, discard all energies onto one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, he can still use Split Shot and knock out our Gramble. I would prefer it if he knocks out our Macargo because at this stage in the game, uh, the thing I want most... Okay, Split Shot, yeah. He takes off our Macargo, it's fine. I love that idea, actually. That means we can actually knock this guy out convincingly and take two prize cards. Prize raise wise that's fantastic. So we have an energy. We can attach the energy or we can go for Primate Wisdom. I think I'm gonna go for Primate Wisdom. We don't need the energy at this point. I want to have like, uh, yeah, another Primate Wisdom. That's actually uh, very nice. Two Primate Wisdoms is probably better than one. Definitely considering the fact that we have this Ultra Space and we don't want to top deck this energy. We're also gonna take two prize cards. So all out with this guy, boom. Here we go, two Orangaroos to go. So we get two prize cards for that, fantastic. So we have Gramble immediately. 
and we get a schnubbel. That is actually fantastic. The only thing we're missing at this point is the energy. <laughs> Uh, but we do have lots of energy spinners to find our energy. So I'm not worried about this at all. This is a nice position to be in. Price wise wise, we're doing good. He also got Blastephalon GX thrown into the mix. And uh, there's Oracorio. That's good news for us because with a single Shrine Tick and uh, Gusting with the Custom Catchers, we can uh, take this guy off guard and take even two more prize cards. So Granville still in this game. It's too bad that our smooth over is gone. That means no more deciding what is on the top of the deck we're just gonna have to go randomly with primate wisdom will that work out in our favor who knows Nance of uh, the tributes the only thing we'll need is like something like evolution incense to find our macargo we already used two there's one macargo in the discard pile diantha that will also do the trick for us so either way we need to find diantha we have not used apricorn maker so far so uh, our uh, drawing skills are very good at this point we have a Ditto, we have two Orangaroos ready. So he's gonna, ooh, Beast Bringer, okay. This does not work, only on GXs. If he knocks out a GX on the, and he still has six prize cards left, he could have done something, but he's at five prize cards. We don't have GXs in our deck. We're a budget-friendly deck just for you guys. What else can we see? Uh, yeah, he has, of course, that Stadium card. I think he only runs one Stadium card. Maybe Heat Factory as well, yeah. Heat Factory is also a card. The good news is, oh yeah, with this Absol, this is actually very scary. Hmm, I want to have a lucky egg as well. Hmm. Do we promote Ditto? We have a one retreat cost at this point. A one retreat cost. If we find a single energy, we destroy him. Are we gonna take the chances? Or do we find lucky egg? I think, yeah, having this card is probably the best option at this point. We have Quick Ball. Okay. What can we do about this? Tinning out the deck. First things first, uh, we are gonna evolve this guy. That is logical, right? We have two chances here. We go for Primate Wisdom. Number one, come on, find us something. We don't need this card. We have Dianta, perfecto. Okay, with Dianta, we can get our energy, we can get Macargo. This is a perfect plan. So we're also gonna shuffle the hand because we know that we put a quick ball on top, shuffle it with uh, the ultra space. That seems to be perfect. So Dianta, finding ourselves Macargo. Thank you very much. And maybe the shrine, shrine already. We still have more Diantas left in the deck. I think an energy will be sufficient at this point. Yeah, this looks to be like a very nice solution. Also, if we put in, you have a good deck. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, man. We have a good deck. So here comes Macargo. Here comes our little good friend Schnabble. Um, do we get the energy? Yeah, we already need the energy at this point. So look at this. We can use Smooth Over. Well, <laughs> to put something on top of the deck. And that will probably be... Hmm. We also need a Lucky Egg at this point. We also need Lucky Egg at this point. Smooth Over. What do we need? How, yeah, Custom Catcher can draw us a whole heap of cards. That's something I do enjoy a lot. And we do then can use Smooth Over and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna put Custom Catcher. It's gonna be our draw card. I know, it's bizarre. Here we go, all out. <laughs> okay, what we do we need to do at this point is find ourselves a Lucky Egg and uh, yeah, Acro Bike and the Custom Catcher will of course be a nice way to draw into a whole heap of cards. We can also abuse Acrobike with the Primate Wisdom, uh, with the Smooth Over, by the way. So we don't need to rely on Primate Wisdom. That means we have more options. What we need at this point is a Gramble with an Energy and, of course, the Lucky Egg. That is going to be our main way. Diantha is actually a very busted card. Maybe we should include more copies of that in this list. We'll see. Dance of the Tribute. He gets a bazillion amount of cards. Probably will find his Welders. He already used Spellpad. Nine Energies in this card, pal, though. So it all depends on how many cards he has. Uh, two Fire Crystals, uh, maybe there's a couple of them priced. Recovery cards like Energy Retrieval and uh, Fire Crystal. Okay, Fire Flint, getting all the energies from the deck into his uh, hand. So his hand looks to be like a whole lot of energies. Quick Ball, that absolutely actually annoying. That means uh, our Air Balloon does not work on our Orangaroos. Okay, Victini, gonna go in action with Infinity. Infinity is going to be able to shuffle all those uh, powerful energies back in the deck then for Blastophalon to abuse. Huh, I wonder how we should go about this. We know we're going to top deck Custom Catcher, okay? So we can use Smooth Over to get, of course, knee of that Custom Catcher and drawing a card instantly. 
Ah, I need so many things. Maybe a Dianta is not bad. Yeah, Schnabel on the roll. Dianta can get Gramble and an energy. That's not the issue here. So we can use Smooth Over combo later, I guess. Or we use Smooth Over right now. Getting the Dianta on top and then using Custom Catcher. Mm, I also want Lucky Egg. This is an issue. This is an issue. Maybe we're just playing it safely and just gonna go for Custom Catcher first. I also gonna use, yeah, yeah, Custom Catcher, drawing two cards. Energy Spinners, okay, that does help. Energy Spinner number one, also gonna go for, yeah, first things first, Energy Spinners. Getting an energy. How many Lucky Eggs are in there? Okay, two. That does help. That does help. So, energy. Is Dianta in here? Dianta is in there. Okay, that's cool. Good news for us. Also, Energy Spinner taking another one. Thank you very much. And Acrobike as well. Okay, Evolution Incense. That's actually a very nice card. Also, Ordinary Rod. We will need Ordinary Rod at one point to recover, but we can get that also back with Dianta. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that back with Dianta. So we're gonna use Evolution Incense right now. First things first, Evolution Incense. Finding ourselves Gramble. This is a hard deck to play. You need to know what you're doing <laughs> before everything else. So, Gramble. All right, next up we can um, use one of these smooth overs. Yeah, smooth over, get the card you want. Probably gonna be Lucky Egg though. Hmm. I'm actually gonna go for one Prime with Wisdom. We have two of them which we can abuse, so we're gonna go for Prime with Wisdom. Maybe we get a card that we really want. Quick Ball, that is not what we want. <laughs> not what we want at all. So, uh, yeah, smooth over. I'm going to get myself. Yeah, we could go for the Lysander, um, not the Lysander Labs, the one and only Dianta. Now, with Dianta, we can get Shrine and maybe the Custom Catchers as well. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the Dianta. Seems to be like a busted card for me. Yeah, Dianta on top. Thank you. What else? We have Dianta on top. We are going to go for Primate Wisdom. Putting this. And we get to Dianta. Okay, this is a hard deck to play, really. So we have our Energy. We have our Gramble. We don't have Lucky Act, unfortunately, but we do have Dianta. So with Dianta, we can still get, of course, another one of the Schnubbles. Already we put Shrine or another Dianta. Hmm. Two cards in the hand. We have to play those instantly. So getting Dianta will be ter terrible. So maybe Shrine to overlap that. Custom Catchers are also so fantastic. Ah, oh, really don't know what to pick. So many options. Maybe the Ordinary Rod so we can shuffle all of our attackers back. Do we still have another, still another Ordinary Rod left? Okay, let's take these cards. Here we go. Shrine of Punishment. Also gonna shuffle the deck a little bit, because why not? Here comes the Shrine, ticking on that Oracorio, and that's gonna be our ticket to victory. We still have time. What we need is Double Custom Catcher and knocking out Oracorio. That is our main concern. Energy Spinner. Gonna help with the energy. Okay, we have the energy. The only thing we will need is Double Custom Catcher. There is two of them still left in the deck. Seems that there's two priced. <laughs> if there's one priced, I'm gonna be scared. I should have checked that before. Oh well. Shrine is gonna do some damage. Okay. I really hope that the custom catchers are in there because I've already uh, wasted two Dianta, so that's gonna be scary for us. Either way, I'm so glad I'm able to showcase that Gramble is able to compete with one of the top decks in town. So that one damage counter is all we needed on that Oracorio. And Heat Factory is also here. Cool. All right, Welder onto Blacephalon. Blacephalon, easy, able to one-shot that. We're ahead in prize race, so we can still play it safely, save our Gramble and use Oranguru. Just promote Oranguru, go for smooth overs and try to win from there on out. Okay, cool. 
So here we have our good friend Oranguru. We can also knock out this Blacephalon, but I think we're gonna run out of Grambles. We only have one left, although Ordinary Rod is also in the list. I'm gonna try and go after the Oracorio. Hopefully I will not come to, uh, yeah, regret my decision with that. Okay, third things first, smooth over. Custom catchers are both in there, that's fantastic. So we can get one immediately, attach then, ah, oh, lucky egg. Yeah, there's so many apricorn makers in here that this does make it a little bit tricky. Yeah, lucky egg, I guess. He could go for burst GX and then finish us off. He could do that, which is a scary part. Yeah, I'm gonna take a custom catcher just to be sure to save. Better save than sorry, right? Uh, yeah, energy spinner can get back there. Okay, energy over there. It all depends on what we're able to showcase here. Ah, this is sad. Don't think it's gonna be the right way though. If we use Primate Wisdom right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Primate Wisdom. See what we are able to draw here. Another energy spinner. Ah, not what we wanted. Not what we wanted at all. Ha, ah, okay. We need both of our custom catchers. I wanted a lucky egg on this Oranguru. If that would have happened, we would have drawn so many cards and we might have been able uh, to get out of the situation. But yeah, this is not looking good for us. Fireball Circus. Again, three energies. Fine. How many energies into this card, pal? Six. Okay. It's uh, the all or nothing show here. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. We uh, don't have our evolution. We could have like gotten like, another custom catcher, but we don't have more draw power, unfortunately. So we can, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to play this like it is. Energy spinner, finding another energy, not that we need it. Uh, yeah, we are one custom catcher short. Yeah, just gonna attach it here. And here comes the custom catchers. Wonder Labyrinth, fine. Fine as it is. Yeah, we don't need custom catchers at this point. <laughs> Just gonna draw everything. Hopefully Lysander, uh, the Wondrous Lab stays in play. Okay, not Primate Wisdom, smooth over. Getting Gramble, hello. Next up, we're gonna use the Primate Wisdom, put my cargo back, getting the Gramble. And the reasoning, uh, yeah, we also put Lucky Egg over here. Yeah, not that that matters too much. Lucky Egg, he only needs one more prize card, so that's the sad thing about this. Two smooth overs, probably better than one. Do we smack it down? Yeah, I don't think so. Here we go, all out. <sighs> yeah, we know, we should have knocked it out. Okay, rip, rip. Let's say we knocked it out. He will need to bump a stadium card and yeah, he's probably gonna use Burst Jack, so it uh, doesn't matter anyway. So well played and this is a uh, game. So even if we knocked it out, he could have gone for Burst Jack and he would have won anyhow. But yeah, Gramble showing the might here. Hopefully uh, this deck will be able to showcase uh, another game here. So we're gonna be playing one more quick game. And uh, yeah, that was actually very close, closer than I would have thought. So uh, maybe I should have gotten that with that lucky egg a little bit sooner. But it was very close indeed. I love playing with this uh, budget deck. So Grand Bull 2.0. Want to be playing one more game, hopefully against a tag team, which will help out uh, with Grand Bull. Okay, we're up against Pikaram, presumably. Pikaram is a tag team Pokemon. We can two shot that. Hopefully they will not be playing Mellow and Lana. Uh, this deck does not like Mellow and Lana because you can undo the damage to 160. We lost the coin flip as well. It does mean we are having access to Apricorn Maker if we have it in the opening hand. Like, we have two of them. And a Great Ball. Insane. So we have lots of things we can smack down and immediately. We do have uh, the Custom Catchers. Let's see here. Come on. We have... Oh, we're up against something else. It's Metal Types. Will it be ADP? If it is ADP, I will be glad a little bit. Okay, we're getting the extra card. Thank you. Slugma. Benching that down instantly. Okay, ADP start, fantastic. Now it's time for us to showcase Schnabel and Gramble. We need to get this off as quickly as possible. So first things first, uh, we will go with 
the apricorn maker yeah thank you we will get ourselves quick balls because that is the most efficient way to get basic pokemon out uh yeah what do we do about this we do do we need the shine of punishment on this guy probably not we already one shot that either way but we could of course smack it over with lies in our lab so first things first gonna get the evolutions out first and that's going to be Gramble and the Macargo so Macargo and Gramble yeah the evolutions come out now we go for Great Ball finding nothing that's insane that is insane okay we're gonna quick ball the shrine we don't need that gonna find ourselves Schnabel maybe the Ditto could he go after the Ditto with a card I don't know he will probably does not play um, uh, Boba Fett Okay, now this goes away. We great ball away. This we already have like a fantastic start here. So schnabel. There we go. And next turn we are able to get the custom catcher for draw. So we can put stuff on top of the deck. Might as well use the primate wisdom right now. See what we are. Maybe it's an energy. It is an energy. Fantastic. So this is gonna hurt for the opponent. Next turn we have the access to the Macargo. The Macargo will be able to of course uh, provide us with the air balloon and uh, then we are able to one shot this ADP instantly. Okay, he doesn't seem to have Zations. Cynthia? That's very scary. If he doesn't find another basic Pokemon, he's done for. Let's see here. It is Jirachi. Jirachi saves his uh, day, but uh, big charm as well. Not that we mind. We hit for weakness. Altered Creation GX on the second turn. We got used to that thanks to the uh, yeah many games we played at the tournament. So here comes Gramble. Here comes Macargo. And now the only thing we will need is Smooth Over. Finding the Air Balloon where it is. And now everything's priced, imagine. So Air Balloon on the top of the deck. We Primate Wisdom. The custom catcher that we don't need. We need it for uh, knocking out the Dennis or whatever. Not, here comes the air balloon on the Orangaroo. And we have zero cards in the hand. And that's how Granbull focuses all its might on this ADP. And that's what I love about budget decks. Okay, three prize cards instantly. That will help us out. We have Dianta. If our Granbull goes down, we can abuse that. And even some instable playable cards like Evolution Instance and Great Ball will help us out in the surprise race as well. Because we can play those and then maybe uh, use Smooth Over to get a Quick Ball to destroy Dianta if we uh, don't, cannot get rid of it. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, Cobalion will uh, be able to use uh, Iron Rule. That means we cannot attack, but we can still use all of our tricks with uh, the Smooth Over. He's just going to attach here. If there's a Stadium card in play, oh yeah, we are weak against that. Marnie. Okay, Marty does provide us with a lot of cards in the hand. Hopefully, uh, we won't come across a lot of Apricorn Makers. Okay, we have Wondrous Labyrinth. Oof, that's a nasty card for the opponent. Uh, we are not able to attack, but we are able to smack down Wondrous Labyrinth. That means this guy needs an extra energy. But also, if there's a Stadium card in play, he dishes out more damage. Oh. Interesting. Will he have energies in the hand? How many energies in the discard? Two, three, four, five. Okay, Orangaroo. Oh, I haven't seen that before. Q fan that evolves into the Copper Raja. Okay, switch. Zero cards in the hand. Okay, he's just gonna attack with it. Okay, Cobalion on the offensive. What? Well, we are not afraid of that at all. We don't see any Absol. We can smack 160. I would love to smack down the Shrine in this situation. So, uh, what I will need is a Gramble. So, first things first, Energy Spinner. Finding ourselves an Energy. That is fantastic. So we can immediately get, attach an energy to the Ditto. That seems to be a nice option. We can then smack down the Absol. Smack down the Wondrous Labyrinth. Although this guy only smacks out 110 damage as a maximum. We can wall that with a Ranguru, believe it or not. But we, ha we cannot play down our stadiums. How many stadiums in this discard pile? Zero. Hmm, risky moves. Do we play risky? Do we play risky? I'm just gonna go custom catch for one. Come on. Oh yeah, there we go. Evolution Incense. Fantastic. All right. Evolution Incense is going down. We have the Gramble, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now we just need to get rid of our uh, Macargo here. So what I'm gonna do is go for the smooth over. Put Macargo. Mm hmm. What do we want? We can. Great ball away this Macargo. We don't have communication in this list, so 
Yeah, what else? yeah, Shrine will pop up next turn anyhow. So he knocked out. We can you go for Diantha. There's a Shrine in there and a Quick Ball as well. Interesting development. So yeah, Diantha seems to be the logical choice here. Diantha on top, drawing it out. Primate Wisdom. Yay. All right, now we play down Diantha. And with Diantha, we will get a Quick Bolt to destroy our Macargo and a Shrine to just make sure that the Scobalion goes in the discard pile. And we can even get out another Schnubble to prepare ourselves for the next turn. How about that? This deck is legit. Retreating! That is what we're good at. Here we go, Shrine. <laughs> Here we go, all out, Grambled. Show them what you're made of. And the Shrine will tick in and we get two prize cards. Here, why do you even use Cobalion? Insane. Okay. It could slow the opponent down with Ultra Creation GX, but that's a GX move of your own. I wonder what it's uh, for here for, okay. One more prize card and Gramble is gonna win. Uh, what do we still have left? Uh, we have lots of custom catchers in the deck, so if we top deck one, we will win this game. Unless the opponent will get a huge other, uh, yeah, Copper Raja, that's something we cannot KO. If he retreats into that, that's gonna be nasty. 190 HP, there's nothing we can do about that. Shrine doesn't work. Uh, we could have, of course, some fun with the Wondrous Labyrinth, yeah, maybe. He does need a lot of energies. The only thing we need is Custom Cat. Will he have a Switch? Will he have a Switch? I hope he has a Switch, so uh, this can be a little bit more entertaining. We also have Absol, so even if he has a Skateboard, it doesn't work. Maybe he hopes that we cannot play down our hand. Primate Wisdom, he's desperately looking for a Switch card. I don't think he has it. One switch card in the discard pile. Okay, and they can see. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys enjoyed this rogue budget deck of Ramble. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content on uh, this channel, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.